Hi, and welcome to Case Club. Today we'll be reviewing our four rifle or shotgun and three pistol case. It's designed to hold four rifles or shotguns under 41 inches long, three pistols, along with magazines and accessories. This is the most versatile multiple long gun case on the market and is perfect for range days, government agencies, and firearm storage. First, we'll talk about the layout of the foam and then the features of the case. The case will hold any rifle or shotgun under 41 inches long, including but not limited to AR-15s, AK-47s, M1As, Ruger 1022s, precision rifles, tactical shotguns, AR pistols, lever actions, hunting rifles, and many more. When your case arrives, you'll note the foam is installed and ready to be customized for your specific long guns. To ensure each gun perfectly fits, you will need to customize the hold down blocks in the lid. The process is easy and straightforward, most easily done with a blade or a knife. A steak knife, for example, will work well. Start by putting the first gun into the foam and removing all the hold down blocks from the lid except the ones above the gun you're working on. The hold down blocks in the lid are pressure fitted and can be removed by pulling them out. You will note there are two rows of hold down blocks for the front of the guns. This provides you flexibility to choose either row depending on the features, accessories, and length of your gun. Only one block in the front and one block in the rear is required to properly hold down the gun. Once the gun is in place with the corresponding blocks inserted into the lid, close the case. If the case closes with minimal pressure, then no further customization is required required for those blocks. However, more than likely, the case will not close and block trimming will be required. Open the case back up and remove the hold down blocks. From the back side, trim them smaller and reinsert them. Continue this process until the case properly closes for that gun and repeat the process for each additional gun. Setting up the case to close with just a little pressure is the goal. Since only two blocks are needed for each gun, you will be left with four extra blocks. These four blocks can be customized for two additional guns and stored outside of the case with the corresponding guns in case you ever want to change out the guns in the case. We recommend using a silver marker and writing on the back of the blocks for quicker block identification if you intend on continually changing your layout. Additionally, if you have a smaller gun such as an AR pistol or SBR, where the barrel is not long enough to get under the hold down block, you can insert one of the extra blocks behind the stock to push the gun more forward, which will position it into the correct spot. If this is a permanent addition, you can use hot glue from a hobby kit to permanently glue that block down. When fitting bull pups, you'll need to remove an additional piece of foam and make the foam cradle deeper. We've included perforated cuts in this section. Using a knife, cut downwards to connect the perforations, which will allow you to remove the block, freeing up room for the bullpup. With longer guns that are close to 41 inches max length, such as this M1A Scout, you can expect the foam to push on the barrel area and stock area. Functionally, this is okay. However, to keep the foam in the best shape, we recommend putting the stock in first and then pushing the barrel down second. That will prevent the foam from wearing out. When it comes to rifle accessories, all of the following will fit. Four grips, grip fins, collapsible, and fixed stocks. However, you'll have to be mindful of side and bottom attachments. Generally, side attachments won't fit. However, if you've positioned the rifle with a side attachment next to a shorter rifle, it may fit. Furthermore, most bipods won't fit unless it sticks out on the sides like this. Unfortunately, there are so many accessory combinations, we can't make a blanket statement to cover all of them. Please use this video and our product photos to determine a reasonable expectation for your unique gear. Now that all your long guns are covered, let's move on to pistols. The case is immediately ready to fit three semi-auto pistols. Simply slide the barrel into the foam like this and you're done. The foam cutout which holds the barrel is ribbed, so thinner guns like 1911s will be held just as securely as thicker ones like Glocks. If your pistol has an underbarrel attachment, such as a laser or flashlight, remove the foam spacer here, which will widen the barrel cutout and free up room for the accessory. Removing it also allows the gun to sit further back in the case, which gives you room for an optic. If you have a large pistol, such as a Desert Eagle, you might find the barrel doesn't go deep enough to properly seat the grip in the foam. This can be solved by removing the three foam layers and removing the barrel perforations on the bottom layer. Using a knife, connect the perforations to remove the block and reinsert all the foam back in. With the block removed from the bottom foam, you now have enough room to fit oversized pistols.
Be sure to save the pistol spacer. If you change your pistol to one without an underbarrel attachment or remove the attachment, reinsert this spacer back in and it'll be ready to go. You will note that both the spacer foam and foam layers will snap into place using tabs so the foam won't accidentally pull out. Moving on to magazine storage, you'll find a foam lid here located under the barrel area. Simply lift up from here to remove the lid. Inside this space, we've included two layers of foam, each containing a variety of foam shims that fit together like a puzzle. For rifle magazines, remove both the top and bottom level of foam and remove the appropriate amount of shims to hold however many magazines you have. Of course, if you're filling up the whole space, then no shims are needed. You can expect about 12 30 round magazines to fit this area. For pistol magazines, which are less deep, you have the option of removing only top level shims. Once all the magazines are in place, reinsert the foam lid, which will hold everything down. In the next compartment over, under the gun foregrips, you can fit loose gear. If the case is going through heavy shipping, then this accessory area is best suited for soft gear, such as knee pads, gloves, and clothing. If, however, the case is just going to the range and there's no risk of the case flipping upside down, you can pack this area with ammunition boxes and harder kinds of accessories. In regard to the foam design itself, we've ensured the entire inner base is padded and the foam cradles are chamfered. The chamfer allows the guns to easily slide in when packing up your guns and not get hung up when you're in a rush. Be advised, this foam is an upgrade from Pluck Foam. Unlike Pluck Foam, this foam is pre-cut, ensuring a perfect fit for your gear and saving you time from having to do it yourself. Another advantage of our foam is its military spec characteristics when compared to cheaper foam. When it's closed cell, it won't absorb liquid and you can easily clean it if it gets dirty over time. Cheaper foam, on the other hand, will absorb any liquids and slowly deteriorate. Also, it provides adequate cushion for your gear, but won't tear like the cheaper foam. and the foam in the lid is the same polyethylene material, which helps to secure everything in place when the case is closed. Moving on to moisture control, we've included one reusable hydroabsorbent silica gel canister to help prevent rust. The importance of our specially designed moisture remover cannot be understated, and we encourage you to watch our silica gel video to learn more. Remember, silica gel is necessary because a case that keeps moisture out will also keep it in. And around the perimeter of the lid is a gasket seal, which makes the case 100% waterproof. So let's take it outside and put it to the test. The case features a removable document holder for easy labeling and identification, six snap latches with positive feedback, two metal reinforced padlockable points for added security, dual pressure relief valves so that the case can be opened at any altitude. In back, there are three strong mechanical hinges with stainless steel pins, all of which are one way so that they cannot be tapped out. Each end of the case has a wide two-person handle that folds down to stay out of the way when not in use. And one end has two wide-bodied wheels that glide over both smooth and rough terrain with ease. Exterior case ribs help to deflect impact and protect the case shell. And a lightly textured surface helps to prevent scratches. Lastly, the case features feet on the bottom and inset channels on the top to help securely stack the case if you have more than one. This versatile case is made to fit most guns under 41 inches and will safely and securely store and transport your guns for years to come. You can find this product and many more at caseclub.com, the industry-leading manufacturer of cases and custom foam. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.